Hey everybody, welcome, welcome. Welcome to our live. I am, I forgot to separate that. Let me make sure you can hear me. Let's make sure you can, I know you can see me. I think you can hear me, yay. All right, guys, how's it going? I am Heather and we're coming to you live each and every day, Monday through Friday, Monday through Thursday, 1030 a.m. Central Time. And it's a way for us to talk Luminous, get to know what we offer, um, everything everything we have to offer. We, ha- I mean, you know, as for our airbrush makeup, but we do have color cosmetics and skincare. Good morning, Martin. So we have everything you may need to get your makeup routine going in the morning. It's quick. It's easy. Um, with airbrushing, there is a little bit of a learning curve. So that's why every time we do these, I go through um, the beginnings. I go through the how to practice, what you get, and how to use everything. Um, And you can ask questions. You can ask questions as we go along. Um, And there you go. Hello, Jeannie. Good morning. Good morning, Marilyn. So good to see you. Hello, Miss Douglas. Hello, Cindy. Marilyn's like, you sound stuffy. Yes. Normally, my voice is not in a bass. Um, Hey, Lindy. Hey, Pam. Yeah, I did the, you know, I have the sinus stuff going on. um, And it usually, it's been happening once a year. Um, Oh, no, they took my paper towels. No, no, they're there. Um, Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't, I'm still here. I'm still here. Okay. I had to reach and get my paper towels. Um, Once a year, it, it happens and I get stuffy. But, um, I made the mistake of taking NyQuil cold and sinus at, what a mistake, I had to do it to sleep. But you know, when it gives you like that medication hangover, I'm just like, uh. but so I, I think it's the re, the reason I sound congested or stuffy is because I think it's working, hopefully. I'm hoping at least that's the case. So, all right, Pam, did I say hi to you? I hope I did. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. I wanted to show you a lot of times people think that um, with airbrush makeup, it's all or nothing. Like you have to do everything airbrush or everything traditional and you can mix it up. You can mix it up where you're not um, it. You can do some airbrush. You can do some uh, traditional. You can do, you know, you can mix it up. So I want to show you ways that we can kind of mix those together. So first let's talk about the kit what you get in your kit this is one of our kits and this is the icon we also have the icon pro and the legend and of course the breeze uh, which is what i'll be using today and then we have the two uh, bottles of foundation love and blush and then the love um might not be something you use every single day but you need to try it out look how it works you know just try you know use a high cheekbone area check it out and just see if you like it or not and then the blush is what super high pigmented it two drops that's all you need um if you use more than that it will look crazy we all know that and then we have the two bottles of foundation and right here and this is what we want you to do to practice we want you to keep that stylus moving around your face Practice with just the air. And that way, wherever the air goes is where your <clears throat> makeup is going to go. And, and so just feel that. Also know that you're going to keep it four finger widths away from your face. Also, lightly on the trigger. Lightly. Guys, there's not a big difference from here to here. So it is very light. If you want, take a couple of drops of, of foundation and airbrush a paper towel. And then that way you get to see that yes, yeah, something is coming out when you didn't even think you were pulling back. Um, <laughs> I did do the local honey, yes. Um, Marilyn, can you powder your face first and airbrush? Yes, ma'am, you can. It's, um, I like, hey, Joan, how are you? Oh, you need to hear my breeze run? Okay. Um, you can powder your face. A lot of times I do that. I know a lot of people on here do that because um it's a more polished look but then it does help everything stay on okay and um uh this is for joan (laughs) 
That's what my breeze sounds like. All right. Let's go. <laughs> All right. So I'm actually going to use a concealer first, a regular concealer. And so I'm going to use that first. So I'm using our, um, I think this is buff. We might be out of the buff, but I'm using our traditional concealer. And I like just to put a little bit on my hand <clears throat> with the doe foot. I just put a little bit right there because once our concealer goes on, it is on. It doesn't move. And so I have my blender ready and I'm just going to actually, I already messed up, but that's okay. I never want, see where that was the first place I touched right there. So that's where the majority of the makeup's going to go. Um, and that's not what I want to do. I want to keep it out here because I am more self-conscious. I need to start blending. Um, I'm self-conscious about my under eye wrinkles and crinkles. And so unless you put on some, you know, like a night cream, I mean, a eye cream and it's going to be very creamy, um, start your, your, uh, dots or whatever you want to use right out on the outside. That way you're not having the concentration of pick of the, um, concealer underneath. Make sense. So I'm just blending that in and I blend it down. Hello, Christina. Good to see you. How are you? Also notice I'm just like, boop, 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 just touching it, just tapping it out, tapping it out. You know, that's my favorite. Tap it out, tap it out. So when I go back to this one, I'm not going to start in here. I'm going to start out here and work my way inside. That way, the concentration of the concealer is not going to be on the inside. And then tap it out, tap it out. Um, a translucent powder, uh, whether our compact, it can be a loose powder, um, but I use just a translucent powder where it doesn't have any color to it. And I'll do it before I airbrush too, um, just to show you because it's very light. Like don't go crazy with it. Just go very light. Actually, I'm going to powder this in just a minute. So I am going to just do, 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 do. Oh, yours is way louder. Yeah. Joan, reach out to customer service. My suggestion, guys, always is to email them, not email them, <clears throat> go to Facebook and message them. It's the best way to get a hold of our customer service. Just put down like all your information that they would need. There you go. Okay. So, wow. I mean, our concealers are amazing. I love them. Um, and then I have one brush in here that I only use for powder. So I probably have enough even on this brush, uh, but I'm just using about that much, sweeping it underneath my eyes. Why am I doing this? Because it's, and as I just brushed my eyeball, um, it's setting it. Anything that is creamy um, in a traditional form, you need to powder. That way you make sure that it doesn't uh, wrinkle and crinkle. You don't want to get um, creases on your, you know, underneath the eye even more. But again, Pat, when I did that powder, I started here and did my swooping like that. So I'm not going straight underneath here. So now you can go in. If I was going into powder first before airbrushing, I would take one of my big brushes and just do this. And that's all. And I'm using our translucent powder in the compact. We also have it in this form as well, in the loose form. So it's whatever you're more comfortable with, whatever you have, whatever you're comfortable in using. All right. So now what am I going to do now? Let's do Lyra's do. I think I'm going to contour with um, the cut one palette, but I'm going to use our blush, our airbrush blush, because I've been digging it lately. Digging it, digging it. Um, let's see which one I want to use. 
Which one will let me breathe? Soft rose, everybody has a bit. I'll go ahead and use apricot again. Um, this is the apricot blush. And I'm putting about two drops of my apricot blush. All the blushes, except the natural blush, are going to bloom on you. And when I say bloom on you, they're going to intensify. So when doing the blush, and yes, I'm doing my blush first before foundation, because if I do get blush happy and my blush blooms too much, I'm using the foundation to cover it up, okay? Also notice that when I did my concealer, I blended it all down, like ooh, all the way, you know, like nope. But it, most of it's like right under here. So when I go to putting on my foundation, I don't have to go all the way underneath my eye. I can just possibly go here just to blend it all out. Okay. So I have my blush and I kind of smirk. And when doing the blush, um, I come in about three finger widths away. And I'm raising my blush a little higher. Oh, thank you, Jeannie. Your guess is I use a one of those hot roll uh, brushes, the brush with that has the air. Um, and I don't know what's going on with my hair. And by the time I get here, it's like this. It's like big. Might be because I live in Texas. <laughs> But it's, it gets bigger and bigger. But I'm, I have to say, I am digging my hair. Um, I used to fight it and have to, like, have a style, like, set style. And I kind of threw that to the wind. And um, I just let it do my hair do it. You do you hair. Um, and it's so much easier. <laughs> so much easier when you don't have to fight your hair, right? All right, so now we did traditional concealer. We did um, airbrush blush. Um, is Texas humid? Um, if you look up humid in the dictionary, Tex uh, Texas is right there, <laughs> or at least Houston is. Yes, we're very humid. Bawe humid. Um, and my hair has natural curl in spots. <laughs> some of my hair is like this, and some of it's like, Pfft. so I don't know what's going on with my hair. Um, okay, so we did traditional concealer. We did airbrush blush. Um, now I'm going to do, and I haven't done my foundation yet, because I'm thinking what else I want to do. Marilyn said, Georgia is hot. But Marilyn, do you get the humidity in Georgia? And do you have the Georgia accent? Because if you do, every time I say your name, I'm now going to say it with an accent. <laughs> All right, shaking it. Oh, hey, Andrea. Why did you use the concealer today and not the CC corrector like yesterday? Andrea, great question. Why she asked on YouTube, she asked, why did you use the concealer today and not the CC corrector like yesterday? One, because I always shake it up. I always, if I did this, the concealer or the um, uh, color corrector every single day, you wouldn't see other products. <clears throat> and so I usually mix it up um, in my real life. <laughs> I, I do mix it up too. Um, Sometimes I use the color correctors. Sometimes I use the concealers. Um, our concealers really do have that stain power. Um, I know not everyone is going to airbrush underneath their eyes. So I like to show different things and how to put them on. Um, and you were, I know you were in one of my classes. We have a lot of different things that overlap in what they do. And so I like to show... Um, show what they show what they do um pam says alabama is very humid yeah alabama um you have some great beach beaches in alabama don't you not uh yes terrible humidity 
but no Georgia accent. Okay. <laughs> I would have to work on my Georgia accent. So, um, Oh, Veronica has it. You have Veronica, you have the, uh, text or the Georgia accent. Um, so Andrea, to your question, minus the humidity, um, I do change it up. I, I really do. Um, there are times where I feel like, um, it depends on my, depends on how my face is for that day. Um, sinuses, I get depleted and I feel like more of my, cause I'm dehydrated. That's why I have my big water bottle. Um, and I feel like my skin is depleted yesterday. I showed you, I had like some kind of divot in my face. I've never had a divot in my face, but why? Because whatever's going on with my sinuses. So it, you can change it up. You don't have to stick to the same thing, but I will tell you as a makeup artist, I have my go-to look from eyeshadow to lips. I have a go-to look that I could do in my sleep. I know it works. I know it's good. Um, that if I'm running late and I don't even have time to think about it, I'll do, I can do that look. But if I have a little extra time, then I will play with it. I will figure out, Oh, well, let's try this one today. Let's see how this works. Or so it, long story short, you can use other products. Um, but if you're first starting out, get the ones. And this is what I say to all my newbies, get the foundation down, get airbrushing down, period, get airbrushing down the, the foundation down. Then let's work on the steps of what you need to get the coverage, to get the look that you're wanting. I'm going to tell you different ways to put stuff on different, different products to put on. We just need to find, um, what works best for you. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to use love a lot of questions about love i'm actually going to use it for my eyes right now so i'm only going to do two drops and that's probably one too many love is a question we get a lot because they're like okay what am i using that for it is a hydrating illuminator um it's going to give your skin some luminosity not shine it's not like um our luminizers our luminizers have shine and let me tell you, I haven't used the luminizer in a while. Look, you can't hear the BB. I can pick this up and hear the BB. This pigment is heavier. So make sure you shake them up. That's why you have to shake them up. But I don't know. You know what? Hold on. I think I have. Hey, Bobo. How are you? Love the love. Where is the love? Hold on. I have a luminizer. I think I do. Oh yeah. Here are luminizers. So these are, okay. These are luminizers. And this is what I'm talking about with shimmer. This has shimmer. That pigment is heavier. Um, and so there is, that's going to be some shimmer. Um, you might not be a shimmer girl, but love, you want to try love because of the fact that it just gives some skin, some luminosity. That is it. Okay. Bobo, I am not even going to try to say your last name, but I love it. I think it has every single vowel. <laughs> so, and sometimes why? Um, hey, Bethany, how are you? I love that. Bethany, um, Andrea Bethany on uh, Facebook says that um, I just love makeup. So depending on my mood, I will use a mix of airbrush and powders, all airbrush or all powder, liquid or cream. Yes, girl. Yes. Um, Georgia, two years came back home to Georgia. Oh, Georgia accent. Oh, Scarlett O'Hara. I love it. I love it. Good morning. Good morning. Um, oh, yeah. see, and Jeannie, that is great to, um, I know I've missed you too. I'm so glad you jumped on. Um, okay. Now I have love and I'm going to show, I'm going to do one eye. 
I'm going to use it as my eye or kind of the base for the eyeshadow. Lightly spraying. Can y'all see the difference? Can you see? Let me maybe do it a little bit more. So it does grab a little bit of the light. Yeah. I'm going to do this side now. So it is very subtle. So if you're not a shimmer, shimmer, shimmer girl, that's okay. You can still use love, but just put it on to see how, how you like it. All right. So now I'm going to go in with my shade three. Uh, let me find it. Ah. Okay, here it is. Um, our sweet little ladies came in and cleaned up my area for me. They're so sweet. All right. I'm going to put about, honestly, I'm putting about four. I put five drops, but I probably won't need it all because of the fact that um, I did regular concealer. I did my blush um, and I powdered. And so I don't need as much coverage now because I already got coverage in those areas already. So I'm going to start in one spot, make my moves. Keeping it four finger widths away. I just, and I know on camera, it probably shows that I'm, it looks like I'm moving fast, but I'm not moving fast at all. The moves are very deliberate. I'm concentrating on that air and feeling the air around my face. Because guys, listen to this. Wherever you feel the air is where the makeup goes. The air, ready, ready? The air is your brush, airbrush. So wherever you feel that air, just pretend the brush is right there, okay? So that's where airbrush, I love it, okay? I know I just blew some of your minds. All right. I think that's all I'm coverage. I'm happy with. I like, I like, I like did not use all the product. I probably could have gotten away with like four drops. Okay. So to review, we did regular traditional concealer, airbrush blush. I did a little bit of airbrush love. I just did my foundation. Now let's go in and do a little bit more to the eyes. And I kind of want to mix it up again. Um, we haven't done the click and plays in so long that I want to do one of the click and plays maybe. Maybe, maybe. I'll do some. I just love this core shimmer. Whoa, almost dropped it. The core shimmer. I really like that one right there. I love it. Um, so I'm going to go in with a blending brush, that one right there. And I'm going in, I'm kind of, you know how I love to mix colors. <laughs> All right. So now I have that on the tip and then I'm going to start blending. Again, we talked about where that first spot that you hit with the concealer, that is where most of the makeup's going. Same thing with this. So I'm going to start from the outside and bring it in. And I'm just blending, blending, blending. Now also notice guys, I don't have to push on my hand, my face. I'm like not hurting myself. Eyes, very thin skin. You do not want to pull on them. Um, rush. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> the um that's what I like about the breeze is that it does have that little um cap on it. Um and when usually when I teach people how to airbrush with the regular system, I, I'm like, please put the cap on because you will get it everywhere. I wonder if I airbrush my broken pinky. <laughs> it might, it might. Okay, so right now I'm just putting the crease color in. 
Okay. Now, do you, does, do I need this to work on it? Yes. Yes, I do. But I can go in just like we learned yesterday with doing with blending. I'll go back and blend it. Okay. So now I'm taking core and I'm just using my finger and I'm going to put it right here. You know what I want to do? Let's try this. <laughs> I'm feeling crazy today. I'm actually going to mix these two together completely opposite, but I think it might be pretty. And I'm going to pop just, what am I doing? Tapping it on, tapping it on. Ooh, ooh, mama like. How do I clean my brushes? With a brush cleaner. I clean them with a brush cleaner. Um, and then I also, um, once a week, clean them with a uh, baby wash. We do need to go over brush cleaning, I think. Ooh, I'm liking that. It just lightened that core a little bit more. Um, so not only can you mix all airbrush colors, you can mix other colors too. All right, so now. <laughs> um, use the tip. Wait, Cindy, you use tip top cleaner for these kind of brushes? Now I'm going back to blending to make sure there's no harsh edges. Okay. Ooh, I'm digging that color. Mm, mm. Now again, like I do all the time, is I'm going to take that one's not the one I need. A flat eyeshadow brush. Um, if you use tip top cleaner for your brushes, not a bad idea. Um, but I wouldn't I wouldn't waste it. I would um I would keep it for the airbrush um because you can get like bigger bottles or less expensive um brush cleaner but honestly Johnson baby wash is amazing for it. All right. So I just whoop there you go. All right. So now I'm going to go in swipe boop, And then now I'm going to take my cut one palette. Boop, okay. And do a little contouring, right? I don't, I won't need much because that apricot blush is pretty like contoury. <laughs> huh? I like that Cindy. Very good. There we go there. You can, <coughs> sorry guys, um, you can, if you wanted to even powder a little after, if you really felt needed, if you wanted to, don't have to, you know what I did forget is my shimmer. I'm actually going to use the shimmer in, I don't know if you can see it, this one, it's in the cut one palette, all the cut one, cut two palettes have a, um, a neutral shimmer. And, um, I watched Sir John the other day, uh, Beyonce's makeup artist, and he talked about shimmer and, um, and it's so true. Um, can you use the magnetic eyelash glue for eyeliner? Okay. Hold on. I'm coming back to you, Andrea. Um, he, he talked about shimmer and applying it right here. No shimmer, no shimmer here, like past the apples of the cheek or a little bit higher. Shimmer it out, shimmer it out. Use as much shimmer you want, right? You can't, you know, even down the nose and I do my cupids bow here, but you want to watch right here. 
Okay. Watch the shimmer. You can't. Now there are women that like to highlight right here and you can do that. You can go lighter in with your foundation. Just no shimmer right there. Okay. But here, brow bone down here, here, shimmer all the way. I feel like there's a hair right there. Um, okay. Let's see. I love to cut two. Let's see. Marilyn says she saw honey uh, videos. A guy did half of his face. Half guy. Oh, that's kind of cool. She saw America's Funny videos where a guy did half of his face and the girl did half. And they also did half guy clothes and half girl clothes. That's awesome. <laughs> I have to check that out. Bethany said, I love the cut two palette. I bought cut one for my sister-in-law's Xmas gift. Oh, I like she needed to start contouring. I love it. I love it. Um, so Andrea, uh, you, yes, for the magnetic lashes, when you put the glue on the two in one smart adhesive, yes, it's going to work as your eyeliner. You don't need a second eyeliner on that. It will work. Um, um, where did it go? Oh, there it is. <clears throat> and, um, how many did you're going to take lashes, you, any of the lashes that we sell, you're going to take them off at the end of the day. They're not ones that you're going to keep on. You want to take those off and you'll take them off and put them in your box. And you can, they're good for like, is if you keep up with them and keep them in that box and they're still formed the way they're supposed to be formed, you're good like three months. So, um, so yeah. Um, what brush do I use to contour? I use, I'm looking for the one that we, we have one in our brush kit. It's, it's this, <laughs> but it's shaped like this, where it has like, it's at an angle. Um, I just don't have it. I have three powder brushes, but I don't have this one, but it's at an angle. And so boo, 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 right there. And there you go. Oh, oh, he did it all himself where he did have to go. Oh, I love that. That's so cool. All right. <clears throat> so now I did some love on my eyes. I did blush, airbrush. I contoured with cut one. I did traditional concealer, airbrush foundation. Um, oh, wow. Should I toss it by another bear? But it depends on how they look. If you can let them last for a year, then more power to you, girl. Um, more power to you. Muzi, good morning. Or, yeah, good morning. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning. All right. So now, of course, I'm going back to, and I have to use mine because I don't have it here. My eye, or lip liner. Where did it go? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ooh, am I going to have to use another one? I'll use this one. This one is Stark. This one might go better with my eyes anyway. And I fill in my whole lip. I feel this is going to help your lips stay on. Plus the fact these lip liners are so creamy that most of the time I use them as lips. I just use the lip liners as lips. And then you can top, uh, top it off with either a gloss or lip jelly, whatever you want. Final slick liquid lipsticks. If you don't have our um, our brush set, it's five brushes, and they are the five that I need to do makeup, period. It has an angle brush. It has the fluffy angle brush. It has a powder brush. It has a blending brush. It does have everything I need. It has a flat eyeshadow brush.
making sure I'm even. There we go, that is stark. And then you can top it off with lip jelly or with a lip gloss or whatever you prefer. I can find mine. Nope. So I'll do a lip jelly. It does have some iridescent. And there you go. I just love shimmery lips. Sometimes, I mean, I really do. I just love the shimmer. Shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. All right, guys, there you go. Well, I hope this helps. I hope it helps um, y'all understand that you can do other, pro I mean, you can do traditional with our airbrush. Doesn't have to be all or nothing. If you're struggling with under the eyes, use the concealer, the traditional concealer for now and practice under the eyes. You'll find that you probably like airbrushing under the eyes better because it's not going to look heavy and cakey as long as you're airbrushing correctly. If you're first starting out, practice foundation, practice foundation, get the foundation down. Once you get that down, you are set. You will be golden. It won't matter what's in your airbrush, what's in your breeze, you'll be able to do it. All right. Okay, guys, y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day and I will see y'all next time. Bye for now.